In celebration of Sonic's 30th birthday, Sega has announced Sonic Colors Ultimate, a remaster of the original Sonic Colors that will release on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. This is welcome news for fans of the game, as previously, Sonic Colors was only available on the Nintendo Wii. While fans are still waiting for a PC port of Sonic Unleashed, this is a step in the right direction for those who want greater access to Sonic's back catalogue of games. The decision makes a lot of sense for Sega, as over the past couple of years the company has begun to experiment with porting older games to new platforms, notably PC, in order to squeeze extra money out of beloved classics. Last year saw the release of Persona 4 on Steam, a move that Sega had pushed for as part of this experimentation. Higher-ups at the company suspected that the game would sell well, but even they were unprepared for just how much money this port would make them. As part of an investor Q&A, a spokesperson said that sales were, quote, significantly higher than expected. They added, going forward, we intend to aggressively promote the porting of previously launched titles to Steam and other new platforms. Under such direction, we would like to take multi-platform rollout into account and prepare the PC version and others from the start. Making Sonic a key part of this aggressive new focus on PC ports makes perfect sense, considering just how well the brand continues to sell. A recent sales report from Sega Sammy revealed that in the financial year of April 2020 to April 2021, Sonic games sold 4.4 million units, making it Sega's biggest selling franchise in terms of sales numbers. This in spite of the fact that no new Sonic games were released that year. While Sega Sammy didn't provide a full breakdown of these figures, the report notes that, quote, Sonic Generations etc. made up a large part of this sales figure, which suggests that many of the games being sold are the PC ports of older Sonic titles. It's not clear how much actual money these are making Sega, considering that many of these Steam ports are available at a very low price, but it's clear that a demand for Sonic's back catalogue still exists. This being the case, Sonic is a prime candidate for Sega's newfound interest in ports. Sonic Colors, which has previously only been available on Nintendo Wii, is the perfect game to update and re-release. This is likely also the logic behind the promised 2022 Sonic Origins collection. Based on what Sega has shown off thus far, this collection, which includes Sonic's 1, 2, CD, 3 and Knuckles, is still in the early stages of development so it's unclear how much of this will be a straight port of existing versions of the games, and how much will be new remasters. Either way, the collection includes Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which haven't been available on console platforms for several years. So why is Sonic Colors being re-released? Because money. And because Sega is beginning to recognise the benefits of actually making older games available for purchase. The moral of the story? Just because something is old, it doesn't mean it lacks value. Aw, lovely moral for me there right before my birthday, when I've just been complaining about feeling old. Thank you.